Hello everyone, uh, my name is Noah and you're welcome to today's video. And today's video we shall be talking about um, the seed planting machine I am I introduced in a previous video. Uh, well, the previous video was giving um, a brief overview of the parts. Uh, today's video we'll just be talking about um, the operation, uh, how it works, and then I'll also be uh, giving a few dimensions of uh, of the machine okay then uh, later on I'll talk about any other thing that I see that um, that I need to emphasize okay then okay let's start the video so our first name will parts uh, right away you can see that um, this is our design okay and uh, some of the parts we have here we have this is our frame um, this is our frame and then we also have um, the seed hopper. This is the seed hopper. The seed hopper, there are two of them. We have one here on the, on the, on the left side and on the right side, the other, the other one. Then we have the wheels. There are three wheels. Here you can see we have three wheels. Then we have the, these wheels are attached to the frame using bearings. Using pillow block bearings. And uh, you can already see from here. So the front wheels have uh, two bearings, and the the back wheel so has two bearings as well. And from here you can see the connection. Okay. And um, on the back wheel we have a, a chain system that links to the to the other side. Okay. So I'll be talking. Uh, I'll be talking about this. Um, in uh, talking about this in a while let me first introduce other parts so and uh, we also have um, this is our furrow opener and then we have a furrow closer for well, the furrow opener the furrow opener just um, it creates a trench on the ground then the furrow closer is um, is uh, the sound that closes the what the the trench so it covers the trench with uh, with soil then we have our seed cute. This is our seed cute. The seed cute is just a rubber pipe that is connected to the seed hopper, as you see. So it's just a rubber pipe. Then we have um, inside the this the on the hopper here we have uh, our seed metering system, of course, which consists of um, this disc. Uh, we have a disc here consists of this disc that has um, holes around its circumference. Then we also have a, a square hole in the middle here. Well, the square hole is basically to uh, to allow attachment of the shaft, okay? So when you see, you see here we have this shaft, which is also having a square shape, okay? So the square shape just, uh, Enables transfer of motion eh, between the this shaft and the, and the disc I showed you previously. Then we also have um, another sprocket here that uh, links to the other big one on the other side. Then, so uh, the next thing here, the sedimentary system, we have uh, this um, plate-like uh, plate-like thing here. It's a springy plate. I'll be talking about this in details. And um, other parts, let me see. Yeah, we have uh, the handles, obviously. These are our handles. And the handle here is uh, adjustable. You see, we have uh, several holes on the handle. So you can unbolt this and put it here. Put it here. As you change it to, as you change to different holes, you will. Um, um, realize that the height will go on decreasing or increasing depending on the hole you've chosen okay and the handle is just uh, um, just pulled in, in inside these bushes okay it's uh, it's bolted to the frame using these bushes it's just a pipe and then a plate bolted together to form a bush and um, we have this other plate here in the middle this plate here is just uh, to hold the hoppers, okay? 
told the Hopper's family. Yeah. And um, yeah, I think this is it. These are the parts. Now let me try to open the seed um, the hopper with the seed metering system, okay? And I'll explain that. So uh, this is our seed metering system. And as I said, this is the hopper. This is the seed hopper. Well, the seed hopper is um, where the seeds are, are poured, okay? The seeds are poured into, into this hopper here. Then we have uh, this disc here. As I say, this disc rotates, okay? Just like this, so this kind of rotation, as the seeds as it passes via the seeds, the seeds will go into this part, you will enter these holes, and uh, we see that they will be moved to what to the top. Okay, the seed if a seed enters to this hole, as this rotates, the seed will go up, and then it will. For instance, let's say it has reached this side. When the seed reaches here, we have this uh, this springy plate I told you about. So this springy plate works in a way that uh, when the disc in this is in this position, and the spring retracts, okay, it retracts. And um, when the disc is in the, in the hole, when the hole is aligned, okay, the spring then snaps back into the hole. As it snaps back into the hole, it pushes the seed out of the hole, you see. So you can see from here. It's not, it pushes the seed out of this hole from the disc into the what? Into the into the seed cute. So the seed cute, the other rubber pipe I said, is connected here. Okay. So so that is how the seed moves from the hopper to the to the seed cute. And uh, let's let's uh, look at the whole assembly. Then I can explain this more. So this is the seed cute or the rubber pipe here. As you see here, it is connected to this. Um, it's connected to this. Okay, it's connected here. Okay. So uh, the seed, when it is pushed out of the disc hole, it just goes into this rubber pipe. Then follows the pipe and. Uh, then it falls into the trench. So, um, so we have. I I told you already that uh, the name of this. This is a seed. Uh, this is the furrow opener. Then we have the furrow closer. So when this furrow opener open, it it uh, the furrow opener will dig a trench in the ground, in the soil. Okay. Then uh, the seed drops in. Then this one will. Connect the soil and cover the the dug hole. Okay, so that's how it um, that's how it plants. And uh, we have this spring here. I have to talk about that. The spring here allows um, so like sometimes in the soil we have big lumps. We don't want them to cover the what the seed. We want um, soil just uh, soil small soil particles, not uh, big lumps. Okay, so in case of that. Uh, this will, uh, the furrow closer will retract in case it, there is any stone. This can pivot here, okay? So it retracts and uh, um, we see that it will cover up, okay? So it skips the stones and it just collects the soil. Then we see that uh, all this is bolted to the frame, to the frame here as you see. It's bolted to the frame. And we have three bolts, this and uh, the other one on the other side, okay? So this is how it is bolted to the frame. Then, so um, what else I should talk about here is, um, let me see. So um, let me talk about the motion part of it. How does it, how does everything move? You know? Because I've said, uh, I've told you the, how the seed comes from the hopper to the disc into the seed pipe but how what moves everything you know so we have um uh, this large sprocket here which is um, actually changed to this one you see there 
it's chained. They're both chained to each other, okay? So when, as you push the, the, the grain planter or the seed planter, uh, we see that uh, this chain will move this, um, the chain will move this small sprocket, sprocket, sorry. So when it moves the small sprocket, the sprocket will then uh, move this shaft. You see, you have two bearings, yeah. So it will move this shaft. Then that shaft, I remember, remember I said that the shaft has a square section at the end. Okay? It is round here, but it has a square section. So the shaft will move this disc, okay? To move this disc. And that's how everything moves. That's how it works, okay? So when it moves the disc, the disc picks up this, the seed. The seed goes to the spring plate. That spring plate pushes the seed out of the hole into the seed cute, down into the what? The seed trim, in the, to the trench, okay? And I think that is how, um, I think I've, I've explained the, the whole process. And um, the working operation. And uh, next, um, I think there's nothing much. And uh, next I said we shall look at some of the dimensions of this machine. So this is a pretty big machine. Um, it's, it's, um, I'd say that, uh, so we have here, um, you can see the overall dimension, overall length is 1.3 meters. And um, then the height from here, let's say from here to the, to the ground, perhaps like this, it's, uh, as you see, it's about 630 millimeters. Then, sorry, um, I think I clicked something wrong. Yeah. Okay. Uh, same. Let me click that. So, and uh, the distance from uh, the ground to the handles is about 1.1, 1 1.2. 1 .1 but remember, as I said, it is adjustable. So, you can actually uh, reduce the height or increase it to the favorable height you you can work at okay so you can adjust that height and um, um let me see I think that uh, that's that's all for the operation of the build of the machine the wheels and um, uh, okay I'll give uh, the other thing is that. If you if you're planning on making this machine, there are a few things you need to adjust. This is the prototype here. It's just a prototype and uh, just an assembly of how everything would look like and uh, with uh, reasonable dimensions. Okay, but um, when you're making the actual machine that is going to work in the field, there are a few things we need to um, put into consideration. Things like. Um, um, a distance between when the seeds are dropped okay like from one hole from one drop to another so these things can yeah, can actually be adjusted using um, by changing the this sprocket the large sprocket diameter or varying the um, the diameter of the wheel you know so these things can be adjusted by varying the diameter of the the sprocket here the large sprocket or the diameter of this wheel so you can actually adjust and then get the distance you want and there are still a few more calculations that we are we can do apart from that i think um, let me see nothing much okay anyway that is all and uh, the other thing is that um um i think um, the, uh, this this can be helpful to um small scale farmers and just to reduce the workload you know sometimes it takes days and days to plant a field but when you have a small machine like this one it can take you maybe a single day to plant uh, a few a few acres okay and um, it does it makes the work easier so uh, that is our seed planter and uh, I think that's all. And um, the other thing, I think I, 
I said. So we have two hoppers. Eh? We have two hoppers, and this is because um, when we see that um, when we have, when like it brings two seeds, you know, a seed is. So these two work together. So a seed is brought from this side into the pipe, and at the same time, a seed is picked from this side into the pipe. So it will be dropping two seeds at a time, okay? Two seeds at a time. So you can actually drop one seed or two in either way. You know? So that's why we, we have two hoppers and two seed measuring systems. And um, there are things we can adjust about this. We can also change the diameter of these wheels uh, because when you have a larger diameter, sorry, the the I don't mean the diameter. I mean the 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 width of the wheels, okay? Because um, when you have larger, uh, the width is when the width is larger, you won't get stuck in the mud, okay? So that's one of the things you can increase the what the diameter, the thickness, okay? So that um, you don't get stuck in mud, and um. Well, the comparison to a to our mechanic here or the human model, we see that um yeah, this is how it looks like if you're having a human model standing nearby it. So that's the height of the um, the person, and this is the machine here. So you know, it's just like you push and everything goes on. You feel the Hopper with seeds, and then after you put the machine in your garden and you push, nothing much. Then it plants and covers at the same time. Yeah, and covers the seeds at the same time. Okay, this is it for this video, and um, I hope you guys have enjoyed, have enjoyed the video. I hope to see you in the next one. Um, please take care.